the bolt disassembly on these Austrian 1886, 1888s, 1888-90, 95, all these similar guns uh, had the same bolt disassembly procedure. And I'm going to kind of review that because there are a lot of uh, videos on doing the M95, but this is a little bit more complicated and it's different and nobody has a video on it and I just kind of had to do it myself and it is a it's a little it's complicated so the first thing we want to do one trick is when you pull back on the bolt and you see it opens up in here okay and you can uh, also use the same trick on the uh, M95s because these bolts have a tendency when you take them out to snap shut. On these here you take a nickel and you get that nickel to press down in there between the two pieces and basically that will hold it together while you extract the bolt. Now this gun has a release lever here you have to pull where the M95s you push the trigger forward so you have to similar to a Mauser rifle, you have to pull back on that lever while retracting the bolt to get it out. This one's a little sticky so we're going to need some help here with it. Pull it out with the screwdriver and there, see your bolt comes right out of the gun. There to get a clear view. See what the nickel does is once that watch your fingers, once you get that out, the bolt closes. See there's nothing to hold it open. And you know, unless you go down here, hold it with your thumb and do this, you pinch your fingers, it's it's a royal pain, so the nickel helps. Okay, this bolt, take it apart. I said we're gonna need the screwdriver and this brass case. Your extractor, which runs here, this long piece, it's snapped into place. So you take a flat bladed screwdriver and gently pop it out going towards the rear, and your extractor, which is this long thing, comes out. Then your bolt head here is a separate piece that is screwed in to the front of the bolt. Now that comes out here, exposing your firing pin, firing pin face. Now, to, the cocking piece is screwed on to that, so what you have to do with this, and this is where this is a royal pain, I'm going to have to come back with it. You have to depress the firing pin upwards. And in this cocking piece, you have to screw up. Okay. To come out. And to put it back, you just put it to where the screw is flush, the back of this piece. And there's your piece, comes right out there. Now, you're still under spring pressure, so you got to release this gently. And then here's your firing pin, firing pin spring. There is a flat spot on here which corresponds to one side of the bolt. Then your bolt handle comes out here. And your locking block, which I had to work on one, that just drifts out. You don't need to uh, remove that unless it's necessary. And that's about, that's basically it. Okay? And you can clean it, clean the parts, everything else. To reassemble, you just place this, I usually put the spring back in, like I said there's a flat that corresponds inside, so that's in there. This handle has to go in, and you want to make sure that it's mated when you place the handle in, make sure that it's in that groove. Okay, 
and make sure that your firing pin spring flat is there. Then again, you stand up your case, kind of ease this all in there. Then compress your spring. Take that sear, whatever you want to call it, that's what engages the trigger. And you just rotate this down until it lines up and is flush in the back here. And you just make sure it's lined up. And there you go with that. Then you take your bolt face, place it in and turn it. And you want, there's a notch in there where the extractor goes and a notch here and where the extractor is you want it to line up. You use a screwdriver to kind of line it up the last bit. So now the two pieces are lined together. The notch in the face and that. And you take your extractor and get it in the groove like that and just press down until you hear it snap. Now it's in place, back in place again. Extract your extractor in the groove, retract your bolt, place your nickel in there to hold the tension up. Because if you don't put that five cent piece in there, this is a pain to get back in this receiver. You got it fairly well lined up. There you go.